What's up guys, it's Zach from Sanj Moore and today I'm going to be doing another HTML and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you how to add images to your web page and other HTML documents and really just getting started with structuring the web page and building the website. Now the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to add an image and we actually need to open up. I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the document in Notepad++, but you can use any text editor of your choice. Actually, no, I want it to be bigger text. The crappy video quality here. So. Change the text size. Uh, make it a little bit. Okay. So the way we're gonna add an image here is in within this div tag that we specified um, style attributes for the amount of text. This is a web page. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and add another tag, which is basically IMG, the IMG tag. But there's an attribute to the IMG tag, and that is the SRC tag. And this basically tells the web browser where to look to get the image, because the image isn't in the HTML document. So, first off, we need an image, and what better place to get an image than Google? I'm going to go ahead and search uh, Lamborghini. So, let's see if I can find a car here. Yeah, this looks good. Okay. Basically, all you have to do is get an image and uh, you know, search, search out the web. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this to my desktop. Uh, one important thing: unless you want to specify the file directory of the image, it has to be in the same directory as your HTML document. In other words, if you have the HTML document in your desktop and you have the image in your My Documents folder, it's not going to work. You know, if you just specify the name. So, there we go. So now I have it. I'm going to go ahead and just type in Lambo. Dot, and I need to know the file type. Let's see. It is JPEG. So, Lamo.jpg. You have to include the file type, whether it be JPG, bitmap, JPEG, bitmap, whatever. And we're just going to add a forward slash. And the forward slash isn't necessary, but it's just kind of optional. Tells, makes it easier to know when the end is. So let's go ahead and go to File, Save, and let's refresh the web page and see if this works. And there we go. We have the image. But what if I decided that I don't want this uh, in the same file directory? What if I want it? Yeah. What if I wanted it in a folder called folder? Well, if the if it's in another folder, my computer is really crappy. Um, yeah. Anyway, say I wanted. It in this folder. Well, I would have to basically specify the directory because the web browser doesn't know where to look. It knows to look for the name Lambo.jpg. So I refresh this. It's a big old image, but it's nothing. It doesn't know the image. The way we do this is we're going to go ahead and type in folder forward slash Lambo.jpg. Now let's go ahead and save this again and refresh it and it found the image. The reason for that is because it specified, we specified where to look. So the next thing we want to do is obviously this image is huge and it's going to be really kind of too big for the website, you know, too big for this little web page. So the way we change the image's size is before this little forward slash that we added to signify the end of the image tag and by the way the image tag doesn't have an end tag so that's why the forward slash is there um, we're going to type in width equals uh, print or quotation marks 
let's put this at 200 pixels. And we don't have to add a semicolon. Height, let's make this equal to the width. And so let's go ahead and file, go to file, save, and we'll refresh the web page again. And it changed its size. It's now 200 pixels instead of what it was before, which was just unbelievably huge. But if you'll notice, it says this is a web page, and then right directly after that, it's the image. Well, I don't really like that. I want the image under the this is a web page line of text. And we do, we make it, or sorry, we put it under the line of text with the break tag. Basically, right after the italicize or the in i tag, whatever you want to call it, you add another tag, and it's going to be br. And Again, this isn't necessary, this little forward slash isn't necessary, but it just kind of signifies that it's not enough. Let's go ahead and save this, and refresh, and now it's under the This is a Web Page tab. Now another thing that I'm going to talk about, another thing that I'm going to teach you guys how to do is add uh, stuff like YouTube videos. I actually have a YouTube video pulled up, so let's say I wanted to embed this on my site. Well, this is the code for embedding. It gives it to you right away. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that code. And um, I'm just going to put it just specifically for time purposes. I'm going to put it under the image. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that text, that HTML, in there. And by the way, the video height and width are controlled by these. Uh, you can make them as big or as small as you want. There's also two more at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save, and let's refresh the web page again. And, okay. Allow me to do this. Yes. Okay. And there we go. We have a YouTube video. So. Now that we've done that, let's see how, many time, how much time I got left. Um, I think I'm going to end the tutorial for today, but in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys um, basically how to structure the web page, how to get the web page um, better than it looks now, basically. Uh, because right now, this is a, this is a pretty sucky website, you know? It doesn't really have anything as a YouTube video uh, under an image, which is under a this is a web page, uh, italicized text and a link up here in the same page. It's just nothing. Um, so, in the next tutorial, we'll get more in depth on how to um, basically make a good web page. See you in the next tutorial, guys.